The FireTech system allows you to control DMX as well as pyrotechnic effects. With DMX, it opens up the possibility of adding lights, flame projectors, lasers, smoke devices to your show. This video here, just giving some tips on how to sort out what DMX values you need to create in your script. So before we go into videos on adding DMX to our pyro scripts and in doing sequences, I thought I would go through this video here on establishing the values. What I have are some PAR lights and flame projectors that I picked up on eBay. They're all three wire devices rather than five wire devices. I wouldn't use the flame projectors up close near anybody uh, because these are fairly inexpen inexpensive devices without a lot of the safety uh, procedures and monitoring that comes with the five wire devices. But they do work and they're fun and they're relatively inexpensive. The Flame projectors that I purchased on eBay came with these instruction manuals here. It actually implies that it's a two-channel device. There's not a lot of useful information in this piece of paper. Um, they're actually just single-channel devices, but they do work. The PAR light came with a bit more information that was useful. If you look down here, it gives me DMX control seven channels and it actually defines what those channels are and the value. So channel one with a value of one to zero or zero to 100. Channel one with a value of zero to 10 is off. Channel one with a value of 11 to 50 is a static color and I need to use channel two to select that color. So what I have here is a DMX board that I bought online I think this costs like 20 bucks. It's relatively cheap. There's nothing fancy about this board here other than it allows me to select values on channels and it tells me up here on the screen what those values are. So the PAR light I have over there, here it is. Um, that PAR light uh, is connected to channel one right now. So I've given that PAR light, which has a, 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 it's a chip on board device, so it has a controller in it and I've assigned it channel one. If I give channel one a value of eight, nothing happens. If I give it a value of 10, nothing happens. As I slide this up and I get above 10, the light comes on. Now channel two, as I select channel two, the light will change different colors. If I go back to channel one, the instructions tell me if I bring it up to a value of 201 to 255, so there's 214, and then with channel three, I give it a speed, I have a strobe light. So there's the very basics on trying to figure out what values you may need for which channels for some of your DMX systems. Pick up a, a DMX board and just do some troubleshooting. Play around with it. For the flame projectors, which are the black towers up there, I've got those set on channel 8, 10, 12, and 14. If I change this board here to read the second row of channels here, say for channel 12 there, and I give it a value and increase that. I'm at 28 right now. I go to 30, you can hear the spark unit kick off. So 0 to 29 is off, and 30 to 255 is fire. Now typically you would just go 0 to 255 either end of the spectrum, but if, for example, the DMX units like your lights have different options, you'll need to sort out what those options are using a board. Well, there you have it. Uh, I'll do a video here soon on how to 
uh, add DMX to your pyro script for the FireTech system, and also a video on doing sequences. Sequences are really cool with the FireTech system and with DMX because you can hit them over and over and over again. It's like having a step fire event that you can repeat over and over again. Well, that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and uh, more videos to come.